all life here on planet Earth gets its energy from chemical processes that break down complex carbohydrates or nutrients to form new ones. And one of the most interesting groups are fungi, simply because they're so unlike anything else that we're familiar with. See, plants are autotrophs, meaning that they're able to make their own food using light from the sun to cause a chemical reaction that produces their sugars. Us humans, like all animals on this planet, are heterotrophs, meaning that we get our food from a source that's outside of ourselves, which we eat and are broken down by acids in our stomach. Now, fungi are also heterotrophs, but instead of ingesting something to break them down, they extrude their digestive parts and use different chemicals to break things down and eat them. So in other words, we eat things and digest them in our stomach, whereas fungi sort of throw their stomachs around on the food to eat it. Kind of gnarly, huh? Now, fungi are grouped based on where they get their energy, and many are saprotrophic fungi, which eat and decay dead things like fallen logs. This includes brown rot fungi, which produce a form of hydrogen peroxide that break down cellulose to leave the brown lignin in the wood, and white rot fungi, which produce different enzymes to break down the lignin and leave the white cellulose of the wood. Then there are mutualistic fungi, such as mycorrhizal fungi, which obtain their nutrients through connecting to the roots of different plant and tree species to facilitate the flow of nutrients between them, and lichen, which are different species of fungi that have formed partnerships with one or more species of cyanobacteria, or algae that they house within themselves, giving them protection in return for the energy they create through photosynthesis. Then there are parasitic fungi which feed on their living hosts from ants to elm trees. So as life evolved to find very unique and different ways to get energy and survive on this planet, fungi might just be the most creative, inventive, maybe a bit bizarre, but still beautiful.